hey y'all it's Dr. Know It All so <laughs> as you can see out the window it's chilly I just finished with the Stairmaster uh, I'm gonna back out carefully here just to make sure <laughs> the roads are slippery um, I was using the full self driving going around a very sharp corner and the car did not adjust itself properly for that and actually curbed the front wheel slightly so that's disappointing but I wanted to essentially look at how well it's visualizing in the winter because I don't usually get to drive in the snow this is clearly the roads are not completely covered still but uh, yeah so they're still okay but anyway I'm going to um, let's see where am I going <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's give this a shot here. All right. So anyway, it's on autopilot. I'm going to knock it down maybe a couple of miles an hour under the speed limit. The one problem is that the car does not seem to adjust for the weather very well. So right now, you know, I'm going to make it go slower, but it would be perfectly happy to go at full bore so anyway you can see the roads are fine and it's actually visualizing the roads just fine so I was just curious like how it would do in terms of visualization it is it does have a tendency yeah it's driving in the, in the crappy part of the road as opposed to in the middle part where people have driven so it uh, definitely does not seem to be as nuanced I guess when it comes to driving on this type of road uh, let's take a look here. So again, roads are fine. That guy's pulling out. <laughs> Is this guy gonna pull out too? Wow. Oh man. <laughs> One would think with bad road conditions you wouldn't just pull right out in front of another car, but that's Washington DC traffic, baby. Alright, anyway, I am going to turn us. Uh, let's see. Sorry, trying to figure out where I am right now. It's really hard. I, I don't know this area real well. And <laughs> I'm going to uh, kind of zoom in. Let's see. Actually, we're going to go ahead and turn here. I'm just going to hope for the best. Oh, this may actually be a private area. Ooh, this is way worse road, so this will be interesting. I think I'm going to, uh, at least for the moment, drive this thing myself. But interestingly enough, it looks like it's still visualizing fairly well, so that's good. Wow. All right. It doesn't really have a sense of the middle of the road, but I don't think there's a line in this road anyway. I'm going to attempt autopilot. I'm gonna knock it down to 20, just to make sure that I'm not going too fast to recover from a spin out. Let's see if it sees these pedestrians up here. Uh, yep, there they are, but that was really late. We didn't visualize them until I would consider that to be far too late. Um, I have a feeling that this is a dead end road, but that's okay. I have no idea where it's going. I don't think I have a uh, destination in mind. So I'm very curious to where it thinks it's going. But, all right. Okay. Let's take a look here. Let's see what it does. I think I've got a destination now. This is very interesting that it's like sort of going without an actual address. Oh, it's going into a cul-de-sac. All right, let's take a look at what happens here. I have no idea. I've never driven an autopilot. On the, oh, boo. Okay, so I guess it will not do a cul-de-sac. That's interesting. Interesting information. Um, I'm going to, now that I've got a little bit of empty space, I'm going to try to give this thing a little bit of a push on acceleration because I'm just curious. But These are older tires. they got over 20,000 miles on them, but let's see. Oh, yeah, it, slide. It, it slid for a second, but then it recovered. So it was like it torqued up, and then it realized that it was going the wrong way. Um, okay, I'm going to get myself out of this spot. I assume I need to go back on the main road. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That was interesting. So, yeah, so it spun up the wheel for, like, just a fraction of a second, then kind of realized that it was not making any progress. And then it went into kind of slow mode, and it pulled out properly. But So that was interesting to realize that so it actually needs I guess that little bit of um, information to know that the road is not all. let's cut the speed down do not want to be going very fast at all yeah I would consider that to be one downside this thing should be very much broken 
Whew, it's a little scary going around these curves. That's exactly where I uh, the car curved itself because it kind of was going a little too fast, didn't slow down. So it does not seem to be driving. Um, I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, so I grew up in much worse conditions than this, driving a rear wheel drive car, but it doesn't slow down for the curves because that's the place where it should. So yeah, it's, it definitely does not seem to be a very nuanced driver under these circumstances. It seems to do fine on the main roads because you know the main roads are relatively clean. <laughs> Can't even see out the side window because I'm so sweaty. I'm just fogging everything up. Uh, don't go yet. I can't tell if it's visualizing. It. Okay. <laughs> I'm not willing to chance it. Alright, well, there's cars. No, don't go yet. Alright, interesting. Yeah, I can't tell. Like, I can't see far enough over here. So I can't tell if it's visualizing the vehicles. Okay, so now it should be able to go. And a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit scrappy. Yeah, okay, well that was decent. It, the problem is, and again, it might have been totally fine, I just wasn't willing to take a chance on letting the car do its thing because there was a lot of snow and it may not have been able to see the car in front of it. So, anywho, interesting. So yes, on these roads, absolutely fine. No question at all, the roads are perfectly, you know, they're, they're, they're not slippery at all, they're just wet because people have been driving on them and probably there's some salt or something on the, on the roads, but on the side roads, it does not seem to be doing nearly as well, which is really interesting because it has been, oh, don't go around. <laughs> it also apparently wants to get into the faster lane, even though we're turning right very soon. Um, so anyway, it, it definitely does not seem to have the nuance that it needs, which surprises me, honestly, a little bit because I know like Dirty Tesla, for example, he lives up in is it Michigan. Uh, anyway, he lives very much further north and there's a lot of snow and I would expect that one would get, Ooh, okay. I don't know exactly where it's going. All right, so it's gotta change itself, yeah, okay. <laughs> like I said, not very nuanced. Okay, now it needs to be in the right lane. So I'm going to, I'm just not gonna mess with this much traffic around. I also noticed on the way out that the vehicle is not stopping properly for um, uh, speed bumps with the snow on top of them because it's not recognizing them as speed bumps. So that is an interesting little twist as well. But you can definitely see it. I mean, it's doing a good job of visualizing. It's it's visualizing everything pretty well. <laughs> oh, I guess I am still. I didn't realize I still had it in uh, cruise control. That's interesting. All right, anyway, so yeah, I'm, this uh, on these side roads a little bit scarier. <laughs> so anyway, it, it seems to be visualizing everything fine. What it's not doing is driving appropriately for the conditions. So I will give it a pretty big ding. Again, I don't get to drive in this very often at all, although when I was in Colorado, I definitely did. So let's see, here's a speed bump. You see how it's absolutely not visualizing that speed bump. So I wouldn't want to go over that. Let me, uh, let me knock this down to like 20, 19. Why not 19? We're gonna go real slow because we're going down a hill on a curve. Um, so yeah, doing okay. But again, there's a speed bump on the other side of the road. Let's see how it handles this uh, plow. Don't want to get too close to that front end. Okay, yeah, I didn't really see that front end. Okay, so again, speed bump right there. Don't, th oh, it actually is noticing that. Okay, so it noticed that one. Slowed down to a reasonable amount. All right, so again, it's kind of hit or miss. It, uh, if, if the weather gets worse, I'm going to try to drive the worse weather, um, like if the snow, if the roads get completely covered on the sides, I'll give that a shot as well. But in the meantime, visualization wise, it's doing really well considering how crappy the conditions are. I'm very impressed that it can see where we're going. Um, but in terms of driving, it could definitely do a better job. Oh, interesting. A little bit of a skid, but it recovered from that. So yeah, it's got these little fractional skids that are going on, but other than that, it's doing okay. So anyway, interesting. It's kind of pluses and minuses. I, I was very curious to drive it under these conditions. And uh, clearly it's, it's still a work in progress when it comes to snowy conditions. But then again, for us human drivers, it's the same as well. All right, I will talk to you all later. If I end up driving this later in the day and compile something where these roads are completely snowed in, I'll stick that on the back end of this video. Otherwise, peace everybody, have a lovely weekend, and I will be back home on Monday 
and finally able to start recording videos from my office again. Thank you so much for everybody for your patience while I've been traveling and doing everything this week. So, peace out.